Is there a magic formula for everlasting love? Probably not, but there could be a mathematical one. Renowned clinical psychologists Julie and John Gottman have studied thousands of couples following some as long as 20 years. Rena Sargenopoulos taps into their wisdom, including some formulas they say can make or break relationships. Love and relationships are, if we're being honest, hard work. Coming off a couple of chaotic pandemic years, you may have noticed something about your own relationship. When people were quarantined together, some of them really connected at a deeper level, really got closer, you know, the good relationships got better, but the bad relationships got much worse. These two lovebirds know of what they speak. Doctors John and Julie Gottman are not only therapists, but researchers, authors, and have been married for 35 years. We decided to ask them for some tips since they've been studying couples for decades. What we discovered was that you can predict with very high accuracy the future of a relationship just by looking at the way couples talk to one another and what was going on physiologically in their bodies. So what's the secret sauce? Love, they say, is a practice, an action, if you will. This is where the work part comes in. Look for what your partner is doing right rather than wrong and thank them for it. Skip the grand gestures and go for small things often. And when your partner bids for your attention, turn toward them. Oh, Julie, oh, look at that hummingbird. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're seeing. John's making a bid for connection. With his phrase, he wants me to be interested and to turn towards him, not physically necessarily, but emotionally. So my saying, wow, that's a beautiful bird, is turning towards him. It's literally that simple. Couples who were successful six years down the road turned towards each other's bids for connection 85, 86% of the time. But I got it right. You got it right. <laughs> <laughs> These little tiny moments just saying, huh, cool. That's all it takes to change the course of a relationship from a disaster to a master. If secret sauce isn't your thing, how about mathematical equations? The Gottmans have found that successful couples have a winning ratio, five to one, five positive interactions to every negative one during conflicts. Outside of arguments, the ratio is even higher. During everyday life, successful couples have at least 20 positive interactions for every negative one. And let's not forget about a big part of relationships, physical touch. Again, here it's not the grand gestures, but the small things. Upon reunion at the end of the day, greet your partner with a hug and a six second kiss. A kiss that lasts at least six seconds. Because when you do that, you're both secreting oxytocin because we're both mammals. And that's the hormone of bonding and connection. Just a few helpful nudges to deepen your connection. Now go work on your love. If you would like to know more about the Gottman Institute and the work they do with couples, we have a link with the story on care11.com.